announced his writing and research proposal. What do you think about synopsis writing? What do you know about the research proposal and what's the difference between synopsis writing and research proposal? Well, the basic difference between a research proposal and synopsis writing is a nature. A synopsis writer, uh, synopsis is related to education while a proposal is to commercial research. The purpose of both terms is same and almost all the content are also the same. A synopsis is a brief summary of the major point of a subject or written work, either as a prose or as a table. Well, any medical research epidemiological study should have a proper proposal, synopsis in a written form before it's actually started. It's like a blueprint of a building plan before the construction starts. Writing a research proposal is both science and art. Like if you want to write a research proposal, you have to uh, write down on a beautiful and systematically or scientifically about your proposal so you can present your work. A good research proposal is based on scientific fact and on the art of clear communication. Writing a formal research proposal should be started by the time or has decided on the topic for the study. Like if you st if you uh, start about one topic and think about one topic, and if you want to do a research, you start writing what you want and what you how you do and uh, when you do. So today, if you think about your research topic, start now. The basic content of any synopsis, research synopsis, proposal, objective, extract, introduction, background, review of literature, methodology, time frame, and work schedule, what personnel you need, what facilities you need, and how much you budget you need. Well, we discussed about this one by one in a detail. Before we go on a detail, I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel if you want to update or more any any or more related topic on this subject. Please subscribe this channel. Objective. This is a very important and essential section, and everything else in the study is going center around it. The objective of the proposed study should be stated very clearly. The objective should state it should be specific, achievable and measurable. Not like uh, if your objective, if you write on a proposal and and you write something like it's not possible. You have to be thinking about it either is possible or not. You have to think about that what I am doing in a given time it can happen or not or what the budget they are offering and your topic and your proposal is much more higher than the, the grant budget is available. So you have to be thinking about the uh, everything like uh, if the budget is, for example, two million. So you have to be thinking about it. Your objective or your research can be happening in a, this million of amount. Too many objectives to be avoided. It may confusion. Even just one clear and state relevant objective for a study would be good enough. If there is more than one objective, the objective can be present in the appropriate order of importance. Like if you have, if if you if in your studies you want to do more than one objective, so you have to write like objective one that connected to the objective 2 that it will be connected to objective 3 which means that if I can do if I will do objective 1 after that I will do 2 3 and 4 mainly but the all objectives should be interconnected to each other abstract basically it's a brief summary of approximately 300 and 250 words 
it should include the research question, the rationale of the study, the hypothesis, if any, the method and the main finding. Introduction objective of the problem. Well, you, how, what you what you need to write in an object introduction portion. The problem proposed to be studied is introduced in this section. It should help the reader to explain with the topic. Introduction should be short, about one or two pages. The problem should be stated in a such a way that is important and relevant. It will lies by any one who read it. Like if you have to give the introduction of your topic, clearly, simple form, and just describe your topic and introduce your topic. Not give any complicated things. Just introduce your topic. Significance of the study. These concern whether of all the research is sufficiently important or significant. Like what is the importance of your study? Like if you want to know, if you want to do this research topic, what are the benefits? What are, what are the benefits of the human health? What are the benefits of the human population? And what are the benefits of you? And what are the benefits of your country? So you have to think about your research topic that it will be helpful for, like it, it will give the answer that uh, everyone is uh, searching about this. So you have to be given the significance of the study. Justify your effort if there is someone evidence that there is a need for the research. There is a need for the research. You have to be focused on this word. So you have to give the hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is like, for example, if you it, it's, a, it's a just a simple example. You think that smoking causes cancer. You are thinking about about that this is your hypothesis. Smoking causes cancer, or smoking causes any other cancer, or smoking causes any other things that you don't know. What are the fact? What are the uh, background of this is, but you are giving, but you are giving these uh, hypothesis. It can be happen yes, or it can be happen not. When you do your research, when you do your work, you can conclude that yes, smoking causes cancer. This is a simple example. Limitation you have to give you limitation. In limitation you have to write the, for example, time frame. That this is my limitation. I can work on this topic just for six months, one year, two year, or three year. This is my limitation. I cannot work more than two year. I cannot work on more than four year. Or like uh, if I am just choose a limited uh, sample size. I can I will work on for example two thousand people. I cannot work more than two thousand people. You have to discover why you are not choosing more than two thousand people, or, or less than these people, or you have to give them like gender discrimination, like why you choose only male, why you not female. So you have to describe your limitation and why you are uh, not working on the other side. Assumptions are those things we take for granted in this CSC. Like this is my assumption. I know that it will it will happen by this. This is my assumption. So you are assuming that smoking causes cancer. This is your assumption. So you have to describe here. This is my assumption and what is the reason behind of this. Background review of literature in this in this section. What is already known about the topic is written, including the gap. And it is important to make a coherent, relevant, and easily readable knowledge. It helps the investigator to gain good knowledge in the field of inquiry. It also helps the investigator to have insight on different methodologies that could be applied. Check your plagiarism. Uh, you can use different tools for the plagiarism. Uh, here you, you should choose the authentic one like Turnitin. This is one is the authentic one. You have to check your plagiarism that you are writing uh, on the plagiarism rule. It is a plagiarism topic as well in detail. I, I can explain um, in a letter on, in letter on different 
topic. Research methodology. This is a major content of research methodology like study design, study population, sample size, instrumentation, specification. We are going in a detail on next slides. So, study design. A study design is a specific plan, plan or protocol for conducting the study, which allows the investigator to translate the conceptual hypothesis into an appropriate operational one. Research methodology. Methodology, study population, sample specification. It is important to describe which would be the study population. That, as I told you before, then any limitation you have to describe mm, why you are choosing male, why you are not choosing female. Here in research methodology, you have to just describe I am choosing male and i am choosing this amount of or this uh, number of people like how study subject will be selected randomization process and other details should be given like what what, what kind of randomization process it's all about the statistics you have to keep the all the statistics how you randomizing your population and how you randomizing your uh, and the people that you, the, that you are going to choose. It's about the, uh, basically it's about the observational studies, not for the uh, experimental studies. It's, it, you have to describe the all things if you are doing observational studies. Sample processing. It is important to mention in the protocol what will be the minimum sample required and how it's arrived. Certified sampling and deliberating the sample. Human subject ethical concentration. If you are working on a human, so you have to give the uh, about all the content and all the here you give the consent form. In consent form, include that you are describing your on a very brief or in a layman English that. The patient or the subject can understand your research topic and point to point that you are collecting the blood sample, that you are collecting anything you have to told to, to your subject, to your um, patient. Okay. Uh, this is, this is the, your data will be used as a research. You have to told everything and take the consent of the subject. So these consents make a form that describe all the things so you have to give that i will choose i will be using these form this form for my ethical consideration time frame and work schedule you have to include in your research synopsis or proposal the time schedule it's up to you totally it's up to your topic it's up to your research that you have to give the, uh, the duration of it. it. It can be like days, years, and weeks. It can be represented in gram form. It's not necessary you have to write in a table. You can give in a graphic form. Flow charts and other diagrams are often useful for highlighting the sequencing and interrelationship of different activities in the cell. Personal here. Propose proposal should be include who are the primary investigator and who are the co-investigator, their qualification, their research experience, research experiences, and etc. The proposal may also include a major rule to be taken by different investigator. What are the rules? Like it will be to literature review. It will be to it will be to, it will be go on a literature review. It will be to uh, like uh, survey base, sur surveys or what, whatever you have to be describe your uh, role on the investigator facilities the proposal should be included the important facility required available for the study namely computer laboratories special equipments uh, chemical or any laboratory instruments like in uh, it's all it's up to you and it's up to your topic budget so basically in a proposal for the commercial base you have to give all these things 
as well as in a sense of security if you write for the academic purpose so you have to give the budget but in uh, commercial basis you have to give by detail but in academic synopsis writing you just no need to give the budget detail in a very detail but for the other side you have to give the detail, details in a uh, commercial basis so what are the major items like salary of for the staff traveling it can be international traveling or national traveling domestic traveling purchase of the equipment printing xeroxing consultancy charges everything so in last you have to give the references that are you talking about in introduction and literature review so the major content of the references author name title journal book newspaper etc name volume issue date page number and everything so uh before giving the references you have to be a uh, very systematically which means that if you giving in references in a mla form or apa form or chicago references as so so you have to give the references very uh complete and uh, systematically so you can use any software for this like a note Which which will uh, help you a lot. Note: Project work can be frustrating, hence the need of personal interest. Your personal interest will be a motivation. So project will be funded by you. If you decide, then you cannot win the project, and you cannot win the grant. Thank you, thank you for listening me, and I hope you you like this presentation. And if you want. if you have any question you can uh, write in a comment box and if you have any suggestion also you can give me on uh, in a written box and uh, if you want any other topic uh, related to research you can write also thank you so much